everybody. I'm Dr. D, and that's my cactus. I'm the director of education at the Frigid Fluid Company. Buckle all the way up, because today we're going to be answering the big question, what is embalming? Where does the word embalm even come from? The M means to put in or into. Balm is derived from balsam, meaning fragrant ointment or preparation used to heal or soothe the skin. Personally, to me, it sounds a lot like balsamic vinegar. Historically, vinegar was used to preserve fruits and vegetables. Some of you may have done some preserving of fruits and vegetables using vinegar. The short definition of embalming is one, preservation, two, sanitation, and three, presentation of human remains. All of these are achieved with the use of chemicals. That's a fairly succinct definition. But before I dive into the individual parts, let's discuss why embalming is important. Why is it so important? It's really important for public health. We owe this to the flu of 1918, which was a particularly virulent flu that killed millions of people around the world creating a need for sanitation. It provides time for the funeral. This need dates back to the Civil War in the United States when large numbers of people were dying far, far, far away from home and needed to be transported over very long distances. It restores the person to a more natural appearance and creates a positive memory picture for the family and community, this satisfies the need for closure. Let's take a second to drill down a little further into that definition. Preservation, sanitation, and presentation using chemicals. Preservation slows decomposition. Decomposition in bodies generally happens in two ways. Hydrolysis, which is the splitting of molecules apart by water. The second way is enzymatic degradation. Sounds fancy, but really that's just digestion, similar to the way we digest food in our systems. Body tissues that decompose fall under five broad categories. Carbohydrates, soft proteins, lipids, hard proteins, and finally, bone. Decomposition is the breaking apart of molecules into smaller molecules, and ultimately atoms. Embalmers slow decomposition with chemicals like these. Most people associate formaldehyde with embalming. Check out our video on aldehydes and how they interact with compounds in the body to preserve tissue. Sanitation includes destruction of potentially harmful bacteria and viruses. This is achieved using similar chemicals as preservation. Restoration uses chemicals that help the embalmer make the body look more natural. Some of these modifying agents help maintain moisture balance, body pH, and skin tone. We've produced several videos regarding common modifying agents that are used in embalming fluids. Here at the Frigid Fluid Company, we've been manufacturing embalming chemicals for 130 years to ensure embalmers have access to the most sophisticated chemicals to meet the changing needs of the communities they serve. Now, please comment on something that you've learned in this video in the comments section. If you have questions about embalming, or anything in this video or any of our videos or just common curiosity, please post those in the comments section as well. It's our pleasure to create this educational content for you. Please comment, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, folks, stay curious.